Now, what's a positive right? What do you think? Yes. Throwing a Beyblade at the wall. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. Maybe something, um, maybe something good happened to you. Um, instead of mm, No. Yeah. Getting a hundred coffee packs for free. Mm, no. A hundred what? Coffee yeah. packs for free. Uh, getting a free jug of milk, a free couple of jugs from our stewards with their milk thing. Close. Actually, you, you're close. I so, drink a lot of milk. Okay. All right. So, so, um. <laughs> Remember, remember I said positive and negative, I'm saying non-action and action, right? So a negative right is something that you, you have a right to not have happen to you. So positive is they are actions, right? So you ever hear people say, I have a right to health care. I have a right to education. I have, a right to, I have a right to food. I have a right to housing, right? That's an example of positive rights. Now, What's the, now, do you really think that you have a right to education or food or housing or health care? Do you think that you have those rights? Are those true rights? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, probably. I don't know. Because no. I don't really use any rights. I just kind of sit at home all day. That's all I do. <laughs> okay? What do you think? Yes. What do you think? Yeah. I have right? the right to learn. It's a natural thing. You have the right to learn. But what I'm saying is people say I have a right to education, not I have a right to learn. I have a right to an education. So let's say if I'm a teacher and you say I have a right to education, does that mean I'm forced to teach you? No. Not, not everybody has a So right to if, if you're forced, me, forcing me to teach you, does that, is that a voluntary situation? No. no. So do you really have a right to an education? Because if you're saying, you, or, or healthcare, let's say I'm a doctor, because like, you have a right to healthcare, so I have to treat you. Right? And you're like, I don't want to pay you, but you have to treat me because I have a right to healthcare. Is that true, right? No. no. Why? Because that would make me into your servant or your slave, right? Because it's not a voluntary interaction. So do we really have the right to health care, the right to education, the right to food? Because why do we not have those rights? Because every single one of those things requires labor of someone else. You say you have the right to food, right? You can't just go into nature and get things to eat. No, somebody needs to grow it, somebody needs to transport it, process it, make it so that it's safe for you to eat, right? You can try eating mushrooms from the ground, good luck. <laughs> but, right? right, so, so you, if you, when you say you have a right to food, you, know, you don't really have a right to food because you're saying that I have the right to all the labor that went into making that food. Do you really have that right? Yeah. No, we don't have that right. So positive rights are is basically everything that people say through the state, through government. They say, I have a right to all these things. But the thing is, no, we don't have those rights because those always come at the expense of the labor of someone else, right? You can go to the doctor voluntarily and you can pay the doctor, that's fine. But saying that you have a right, no, nobody has those rights, right? Okay.